to sunny Malta. It's the time of the 2060 Malta Eurovision Song Contest, where Malta selects their song to send to Sweden in May for the Eurovision Song Contest. Semi-final is happening on Friday with uh, 19 artists performing 20 acts. And with us now is a newcomer to this competition. It is Jasmina Vela. She sings the song Alive. Hello, Jasmine. How are Hello, you? Hello. Good afternoon. I'm very good, thank you. How are you? Fantastic to be back in the sun in Malta and we missed it actually last year because we did the the last one in 2014 was actually for 2015 was in 2014. Ah, yes, yes. That was funny in, in Massa Shipyard. <laughs> exactly. Fantastic. So it's the first time you're taking yes, part in this? Yes, it's my first time, yes. So how did the idea come up that you take part in this? I mean, I was I was speaking to Paula Bella in the studio and we came up with the idea that it's good if I take part in the Eurovision and since I'm 16 now, I, I could take part, so I did. So are you kind of related because Paula Bella, Jasmine <laughs> Bella, then there was uh, Ryan Bella singing? Yeah, a lot of people ask that, but we're not related. We just have the same surname. Mm -hmm. The song Alive, uh, tell us a bit about the song, the creation of it. What is the song all about? The song is about a woman that had a brain tumor. She explains everything that she felt when she was going to die. Then she explains how she felt when she managed mm -hmm. to win over the brain tumor. So it's a pretty emotional song. Wow, um, the, it's the first time you're taking part in this contest and you've been rehearsing on the stage this morning. Yes. Tell us the feeling that goes through you the first time to be on that. It was an amazing feeling because, for example, when you're on stage, you cannot see your visuals and stuff. So the most exciting part is the viewing rooms where mm -hmm. you get to see how you looked, how you're, how you're trying to, to, to like look good and carry out the mes message in the most special way in a way because it's pretty hard for me to carry out this message since it's very sentimental wow. but that's it's amazing because you are not yet 17 exactly i'm going to be 17 next friday in fact on the semi-final on yes, the night on the semi -final. it would be a fantastic birthday present for you to make it to the <laughs> final wouldn't it hopefully yes it would be an amazing present um have you heard the other songs uh, that are competing with you and yes, what yes. is your opinion about it all of the songs are nice. I cannot really choose one song. I really support everyone, each and every one of them. All of the singers are very nice. And I mean, the people have to vote which song is best, but all mm. of the songs are great. Now, what made you to become a singer and then at the end come here to sing at the, uh, junior, uh, at the Eurovision Song Contest for, for Malta? Well, I mean, I've been singing all of my life. Then I've been, I've been going to vocal lessons for four years. And it's all, it always has been my passion. So, and I wanted that to participate in a contest where everyone can see me and can connect to me, because that's my aim. You know what amazed me when I was reading your bio, you actually have been uh, invited to sing in front of uh, Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth. Exactly, yes. How did that come up? And how, what, what was that for a feeling? It was an amazing feeling, obviously. It was stressing as well, because we had a turning table. We had to go on it while it was turning. I was afraid that I was going to fall, but well, everything went well. I mean, there was a, um, Ivan had written a song for the Chogim, the official song of the opening ceremony. And he asked me if I wanted to be one of the singers. And obviously I said yes. And then from there, there was the Chogim opening ceremony and I participated in it. It was about a week, which is the Commonwealth uh, meeting, the opening ceremony of yes, that in Malta. Exactly, yes, exactly, Well, that's amazing that you've been picked for, for doing that as well. Um, yes. Fantastic. W what is your, your um, first memories of the Malta Eurovision Song Contest? Since when do you watch that? I've been watching it all of my life, but I don't really remember all of them. I, I can like say that the best song for me was Warrior. I love Warrior. It's amazing. Obviously, it's last year's song, so I remember it very clearly. The ones before, I don't really remember since, you know, <laughs> I'm just 17 almost. Mm. But, I mean, that's what I really remember from Eurovision. Well, yesterday we were invited to a preview party watching the Belgium final and uh, a lot of Maltese uh, friends were there and we were playing quizzes as well. Okay. And what amazed us, uh, coming from a radio station, doing Eurovision for a lot of, lot of number of years, uh, the amount of enthusiasm here in Malta for the Eurovision Song yes, Contest and the yes. knowledge is just amazing. Why is that? Why, why, why do you think this is like that? Because for us, since Malta is a small country, that's our platform. We can, everyone can see us from Eurovision. Everyone watches Eurovision in Malta. 90% mm. of the population just sits down and watches the Eurovision. Eurovision is something huge in Malta. It's like, mm. I, don't know, I don't know to what I can compare it, but it's sort of our biggest contest. 
yeah, it's it's really amazing. So it's a, it's a jumping board for artists to get exactly, seen yes. abroad, basically. That's if it. you make it to the final, and of course now with the uh, internet, also that show where you're going to be in will be in uh, televised in other countries. Exactly. Right? The internet, that's amazing. Um, what are the plans for after the contest? Are you you still obviously at school? Yes, studying? I am still at school. I mean, after the contest now, I s I don't really know what I'm going to do because I'm trying to keep up with school. Maybe I'll just stop for a week or so just to try to catch up with my studies. Mm -hmm. But obviously, I mean, I'll keep singing forever. That's not never going to stop. I, I know in Malta, many of the singers have a second job because the, uh, it's, it's not giving you that much money to, exactly. to survive or being a singer. But what, after the studies, would you like to be? I would like to become a dentist. A dentist? <laughs> it's pretty wow. pretty weird, wow. but yes. Wow, that, that's amazing. We never had one of, of, of the <laughs> contestants that would like to be a dentist. That, that's really, yeah. pretty cool. Why is that? Why? I have no idea. Just every time I go to the dentist, I love it. So. Well, you, you love it? I, I'm afraid <laughs> like the bits and pieces to be on that table and hear the drills going. Oh, la la. <laughs> <laughs> Even the smell just of the clinic. I like it. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Never had that before. I'm pretty yeah. weird, huh? Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. Well, uh, uh, music idols. Um, let's talk about your music idols. When you don't listen to Eurovision music, what type of music do you put on uh, your MP3 players and listen to? R&B. Mm -hmm. I love Beyonce. Beyonce is on my playlist 24-7. I love the way she performs, like mm. how she looks at the camera, how she dances. I love everything about her. Fantastic. Jasmine Avela, alive the song at the Malta yes. Eurovision Song Contest semi-final on Friday. The singing dentist, soon to be. <laughs> Thank you very much for chatting with us. Thank All the best much. of luck. Thank you.